Alright, welcome to the second episode of the JAWS Jet Fighter board game uh, learning tutorials. And in this uh, tutorial we'll be handling movement. Uh, there are several things that can move in the game and I uh, will try to run through um, the uh, individual ways that they move. So, uh, for starters, uh, after the game setup where I left you uh, in the previous uh, movie uh, slash tutorial, um, we ended up having a board that was set up and now I want to take off with my jets. So to take off initially uh, my jets are undiscovered on the radar and you want to keep them undiscovered as far as long as possible because the enemy SAMs cannot fire at your aircraft while they're cloaked or uh, stealthed or uh, are uh, represented as blips on the board. So instead of taking off with your actual jet, uh, there is a blip color that is uh, corresponds to your character and uh, I've neatly parked the blips uh, behind the jets over here so you know which ones to take to represent them. The reason that they're different colors is that if you have the same color on the board uh, for two jets you'll get confused easily. And the reason that you have these blips is that uh, underneath these cards uh, there is uh, one card that uh, has a, an indication of the real jet and then there's two decoy jets. Uh, so uh, if the enemy scans you, uh, you may be lucky that he's scanning one of your decoys and you can stay uh, uh, cloaked or stealth or hidden uh, for just a little longer to, to do whatever uh, uh, crazy bombing run you're on or uh, if you're trying to ambush one of the uh, opposing uh, jets coming in through one of the corridors. So uh, that's what these cards are for, and when you take off, um, yeah, you're gonna have to use these to take off so you won't reveal your actual jet's position. So what you do is, uh, and this is a takeoff, a standard takeoff. Uh, um, so the, the takeoff uh, originates from your airfield, and all games start at the airfield. Later on, you can go to the FOB to uh, refuel, uh, but uh, initially you take off from the airfield. And when you take off, rotation is free, uh, so you can rotate any direction you want. Uh, but after that, uh, rotation, 45 degree uh, rotation, costs uh, um, a movement. So initially, I want to take off in this direction, and a blip can move either uh, two uh, tiles uh, like this. So that's one go for that jet. And this one wants to take off as well, or it's the same jet, but this is another blip. So I can go straight for two tiles. And the remaining one, I'll just go uh, straight again, so two tiles. What I can do also uh, is I can instead, uh, for instance, move one ahead and then I can turn one. So this one will be placed here and that's at the end of its turn because it's moved one and it's turned one. So those two movement uh, movements have been expended now. So these blips need to stay within uh, two tiles range of each other. So one, two, so uh, just keep the, the, uh, a blank space between them. That's the amount of range that you can have. Uh, and, and it's illegal to move beyond that. Uh, so that's how the blips move. And uh, let's, for instance, say that this is uh, this blip has been revealed. Uh, then, for instance, uh, let's see which one is the real one. And those are both decoys. So actually, this is the real one. Um, so we'll remove uh, all of the decoys, and let's replace them with a jet. So. For instance, this is the jet, and he's now placed on top of... Oh, uh, yeah. No, wait, actually, I was moving in that direction, correct? Uh, so this is the jet, and the jet moves exactly the same way. So if I want to move this jet, uh, he can move uh, one, two uh, forwards. And uh, uh, similar to the blips, he can also choose to move one forward and turn one. Or he can uh, be in the same uh, the, in the originating tile and then turn one and move one forward. So that's again two movements. And that movement uh, the, for the blips and for the aircraft costs uh, one uh, fuel box. So that's one turn for that jet. You can, however, uh, um, choose to use the afterburner. So let's go back on that. And let's say it was placed here again. Uh, if I use the afterburner, I'm allowed to go three tiles. So one, two, and three. So that's two uh, air, uh, fuel tiles expended. I can also choose, instead of just going um, uh, 
three tiles forward, I can choose to turn uh, 45 degrees two times. So, uh, for instance, one, two, that's two times, and then I have one uh, movement uh, forward left, uh, just like uh, before. I can also choose to go uh, one forward, and turn one, and then one forward. Or um, go one forward and then turn twice uh, up more of 90 degrees. So I hope that clarifies uh, how the aircraft moves and how the uh, blips move. The remaining movements are uh, for the uh, ground units. So every turn you uh, finish, for instance this was the turn for this jet, and let's uh, presume that this jet hasn't taken off yet, and you can choose whenever you want, it, uh, want the jets to take off, you don't need to take off at the same time. Uh, you can also uh, move your ground forces, but the ground forces uh, are slow compared to the jets, obviously, and uh, they only move every second turn. So uh, for instance, this is the ground forces first turn, and nothing happens in this turn, uh, so they don't move here. And then uh, we'll be moving uh, the uh, the other jets, and nothing's happening. So let me just skip to what's going to happen in the next turn for this side. And uh, this is the second turn, so uh, we hit upon one of these uh, move ground forces uh, dark boxes, and this is the ground forces token, the its turn track token and the uh, ground forces token is moving uh, horizontally and uh, if whenever you fire a missile uh, the missile is going to fire vertically but I'll go through that in the combat video. In this turn we've uh, managed to uh, hit one of these move ground forces uh, with our uh, ground forces turn track and all of your ground forces can move except your air base obviously. So, uh, and all ground forces can move in any direction and they can move one turn. So if I want to move my FOB I'll move it and for instance here my tank I can move it over here and move my SAM, move my SPA. Uh, it, does, <laughs> it has nothing to do with a jacuzzi, it's, uh, as mentioned in the other video, it's self-propelled uh, anti-aircraft artillery. So these guys move forward, these guys move forward to protect them, and this guy moves over here. And let's keep this guy here to protect the airbase. Uh, again, to lose the game you need to lose your airbase and your FOB, That's then you're uh, done. And uh, to win the game you need to destroy the enemy uh, FOB and the enemy airbase. What's happening here though, and that's interesting for the next video, that the tanks are within three tiles range and can start shooting at the other tanks. Um, and the uh, yeah, the spas here are able to protect them, they have a, a two tile range around them that they can defend against the enemy aircraft. And the same are seven tiles, so actually, uh, well this aircraft isn't really in danger yet, is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's exactly within range of this guy. So uh, we'll handle that in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you later. Bye.